Hello everybody, this is John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Uh, this is a great uh, web series designed to inform you about how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Uh, I want to uh, ask you to like and subscribe. Yeah, I've got a list of things I want you to do. I want you to like and subscribe. I want you to comment on the videos. Please feel free to comment and I'll comment back. Uh, normally I do thrift store haul videos and today is a thrift store haul video of a different color. This thrift store haul video is focusing on one thing and one thing only, something that I love dearly. It's plastic wall art from the 1960s and 70s. Yeah, it's pretty specific. Um, this is a uh, episode about Sirocco, the company Sirocco, which is founded in Syracuse, New York. Shout out to Bobcat Goldthwait. Uh, in 1890, um, and they made they mixed wood pulp and glue to make a wood like substitute that uh, hung on walls and did decor until the 60s, and they started getting into molded plastic. So that's what I'm focused on because that's what you're going to find mostly in Goodwill stores. You're going to find molded plastic Sirocco from 1960 to 1980. So I want to focus on that, and then at the end of this video, I will show you the holy grail of all Sirocco uh, products. Yeah, I can do that. We do that here at Midmod Money. So let's take a look at some of the things I found. This is just in the last two weeks, which is why I'm doing this video. I want to show you what I found. The first thing is the oldest piece of Sirocco that I have for sale. This. This is a floral... Uh, arrangement. It's actually not an arrangement, it's just one flower, but this is early, early 60s Sirocco. And I know that it's early because on the back there is a gold tag. Uh, on uh, later Sirocco's, it'll be in the molded plastic. You'll see uh, a Roman numeral. And uh, so that's the only way to identify the age. You'll have to uh, uh, fully charge your phone so you can Google uh, Roman numerals to figure out well, how old is this thing. This was $4.49. Uh, this is a huge piece. It's about 20 inches across. Um, and gold is tricky because uh, some of these gold ones don't sell. So it has to be flowers. It has to be butterflies. And in the early 60s, it was mostly flowers. So gold is difficult to sell. But this one won't be because it's early it's got flowers. This is going to sell for about 30 to 35 bucks. Uh, the old early 60s Sirocco. The next thing I found was a 1970s Sirocco. And now we're getting into the color. This is what you find mostly in thrift stores and flea markets. Uh, they made a lot of these with flowers. They made a lot of these with butterflies. Uh, the mushroom ones sell incredibly well. Well, there's a giant mushroom one that sells uh, for over a hundred dollars. And this is, uh, in the probably 20 to $25 range. I paid two bucks for this at the Goodwill bins in Pittsburgh. So I paid two. I'm going to sell it for about 25 bucks and it's got great color and, uh, will be very easy to sell. Uh, the next thing I found is probably my favorite. This is 1978 Sirocco. This is, this is the thing that you would come home from the mall, put on your wall, take out your bread album, your Head East record, that's, you know, a, even a thing, and you'd put it on and listen to your breezy 70s rock with this on your wall. This is considered a pretty big piece. This is uh, about two feet wide, maybe a little less. And uh, seagulls, sun, very, very easy to sell because uh, it just has that 70s look. I paid two bucks for this uh, miscellaneous plastic at the Goodwill in Penn Hills, Pennsylvania, right outside of Pittsburgh. So this was two bucks. I'm going to sell this for 35 to $45 because of its size and how, how darn cool it is. Um, so those were the three, three things that I found at least just in the last week and a half. 
Um, but I also found some things that uh, my girlfriend likes to call uh, Sirocco adjacent. So there was a lot of companies that made plastic stuff in the 70s, plastic art, plastic mirrors. And uh, let's take a look at uh, three of them that uh, I initially thought were Sirocco. These mirrors made by a company called Homeco. You can tell they're old. They have the old hooks. These were a buck a piece. Uh, I'm going to get 20 for the pair. These were just sitting uh, in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, St. Vincent de Paul. Buck a piece. Uh, I'm going to get 20 bucks, profit of $18 on the Home Co. Plastic, not Sirocco. Found this. Holy mackerel. This is a company called Burwood. Burwood also made a lot of butterflies. These large, large ones are spectacular and they sell very quickly. So this was uh, $4.99. I paid for this. $4.99. I'm going to sell this for 50 bucks because of the size, because nothing's broken, it's all intact, and it's got a great color also. So, uh, that's a company called Burwood. Remember, these are still very sellable. They just don't sell as well as the Sirocco. Um, so now, uh, I know what you're saying. You're saying, like, what? what is the holy grail? What would the holy grail of Sirocco look like? Well, I, I mean, it's a good thing that you asked that, because I'm the only person in the free world probably equipped to answer that question. And this, my friends, I found two years ago at the St. Vincent de Paul by my house, uh, this piece of Sirocco, which is otherworldly, otherworldly, this giant floral arrangement of Sirocco, miscellaneous flowers, different textures and sizes, Beautiful, four feet across, almost three feet high, very, very heavy. Uh, this Sirocco uh, is probably the most valuable Sirocco I've ever seen. And I can also tell you the reason it's so valuable is because it came with these two counterparts. These would go on each side of that huge piece, taking up a full wall. It is a three-piece set. I have never seen this particular set ever again in all my travels in 25 years of going in and out of thrift stores, antique malls, flea markets. I've never seen another one. It is not for sale. It is in my personal collection. Uh, and I would say, though, if it were to go to sale uh, at this point, point in time, 2021, year of our Lord, I would ask 200 to $250. I don't think that is a stretch. I think that is what a item that you cannot find on eBay, you cannot find on all of the internet, let alone finding someone to ship it to you. So, uh, so that's my dissertation on, uh, plastic art from the 1960s and 70s. I love this stuff. I don't really collect it. I do buy and sell it. Um, but I want to remind you that if you pick up these huge Sirocco pieces, they're very valuable and uh, easy to sell. So I want to thank you for listening. Thank you for watching Mid Mod Money. Like and subscribe. Uh, and uh, God bless.